so today I'm going to do a quick book review of the book I've just finished reading. I was reading it over the Christmas break. Um, so I'm going to flick you through, just give you a quick description of what it's about. And uh, yeah, uh, let's have a look. So it's called A School in the Hills and it's by Catherine Stewart. Um, this is a book um, that's a series of books. I've read a few of her other books that are along a similar title. One's called A Croft in the Hills. Um, I think there was there's quite a few in the series. Um, and I've read a couple of them. Um, so this is one I sort of had on my wish list for a while um, after reading the others. Um, so if I read you the um, a little bit of the description of it. Um, so it says... Catherine Stewart describes the life and times of the Little Highland School and many of the colourful characters connected with it. In this sequel to her classic A Croft in the Hills and A Garden in the Hills, she takes us right back to the beginnings of education in the Highlands and brings 19th century schooling to life using vivid entries from the school children's notebooks and the school's logbooks. So this book, um, it's quite. I think it's quite an old book. I, I actually picked this up secondhand. Um, it was first published in 1996, so it's quite an old book. Um, it's a really easy going book, easy to read. Um, it's quite the sort of book I like. It's just really easy going. No, no like violence in it or anything like that. It's just real nice mix of history, um, sort of bits about places um, so you can sort of really sort of identify with the places and things she's really good at describing the buildings and the the landscape um, it's set in the highlands of Scotland so it's a very um, very sort of big landscape with a lot of mountains and locks um, and tiny villages in the hills um, and she describes how her child would walk um, over the hills and mountains to school a couple of miles and through the snow and all sorts of weather. Um, the start of the book is mainly about her sort of when they first moved to their croft and the schools her child was using and then it goes on to describe when they moved into an old schoolhouse um, and they start looking back into the history of the, that school. Um, it describes right back uh, over a hundred years of different people that were at the school, um, different things that went on there, looks back through the old um, sort of logs of the school, what, what happened there, different things, how education started in the Highlands through the church. Um, so it's probably doesn't sound that exciting to some people maybe, um, but it's quite an interesting read, definitely from the history point of view and from the um, sort of the landscape and the way of life and things um, so yeah def if you like that sort of history and um, sort of I guess sort of biographical uh, life story kind of books I definitely think you might enjoy it um, and as I said there were some other books in the series um, one about their Croft in the hills, so when they, they start a, a small croft, which is like a small holding or a homestead, um, so they take over one of those in the highlands and they um, they bring it up to sort of standards and clear it up a bit and make a, a living from that. Um, and there's another book, I, I think I've read The Croft in the Hills, I haven't read The, the Crofts and Crafting, so I'm not sure what that's about, but obviously it's about crofts and how they live there, I guess. Um, and a garden in the hills is about her garden when they're at the schoolhouse, I think. Um, and I think I've read that one. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend any of her writing. She also wrote a lot of um, newspaper articles, I believe, um, and things. So she's quite a, a well-known author. Um, yeah, really enjoyed that. See, I have to have a look back what other books I've got of hers and and see if there's any others on Amazon I can. I can find that I'd like to read. I know I had a few of hers on my, my wish list. I think there's probably some books that have been published since this one that aren't listed in this book. Um, so 
I'll definitely have a look out for those. Uh, but definitely a thumbs up from me. And um, yeah, I'll definitely try and find some similar books from her and, and other authors. Thank you.